guys, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of Socrative in this tutorial. It's an online web-based assessment tool. I use it more for studying. Um, I give my free tests on Socrative and it helps me give feedback quickly and easily to the kids. Uh, you could give your actual assessments on this if you wanted to as well. I'm gonna scratch the surface on this. I'm not gonna go super deep. I'm gonna show you how to make an assessment and, and give that assessment. And that's about it for this one. So let's get logged in. And I'm gonna use the teacher login. I already have an account. You can create an account if you didn't have one. So the first thing I wanna go over is I wanna go over how to create a quiz um, before I even get started or even create a question. You can use Socrata for a bunch of stuff. Like I said, you can give assessments, you can use it. There is a game element to it. So you can use it as a game type uh, quiz. And it also, you could use it as a check for understanding, pulling kids at the end of class too. So first we're gonna start with the quick questions. And so what this would be is if I already have a question that the kids can see on the board, or if I have a quick true or false question I want them to answer, or if there's a little short answer like, how was your day? I can throw up this question, say, how was your day? Um, I can allow unlimited responses, require student names. I start that and then I can see what their votes are as we go. And that could be a good thing at the end of a class, a check for understanding or you know, a temperature check or whatever um, you wanna use at the end of class. I don't use those very often. I usually use quizzes. Um, again, they have an exit ticket here and I'll show you that in a second, but let's just get straight into the quizzes. So in order to create a quiz, you click create a new or import. So if you are working with somebody else and they're creating a quiz, when they're done, they can give you the code for that quiz. And, and I'll show you where that is right now. So if I wanted to share that, I can share the link. And this is the code that they would use to get a copy of that quiz. But let's add a new quiz. And a lot of these test taking or test generators are the same, so I'm not gonna go too deep into the weeds of how this all works. So that's my test. I can add standards to this, search through all the standards. I'm not gonna search through all of them, but that's something that you have the option to do. I can hit save. If I'm not done, I hit save and then I can come back and I can work on this later. If I don't want to share the quiz, I turn that off. I generally leave it on because my partner, teacher, and I, we share our quizzes, you know, frequently. I have multiple choice, true or false, short answer. So let me show you multiple choice. So like anything else, right, I just type in my answers here. And if you notice here, I can insert certain things, like I can insert images. I like on my practice tests a lot to put images. So they start associating those images with the answers. Um, I can do functions, you know, I can, I can edit this somewhat, you know, it's got uh, a limited editor, but it works just fine. I select my correct answer. I can put explanations like, hey, that was a great job. Or, hey, remember, you know, if you didn't get it correct, it, go back and look at your notes on page seven or whatever. I can add an image here as well. Um, for Socrative, you do need to download the images onto your computer and then upload them. I'm not gonna do that right now, but you would just navigate to where your images are. And when you're done with the whole thing, you press save and exit. Let's add just a uh, true or false, just for fun, see how much different it looks, um, right? I'm just putting a question, it's five plus three, 19. True or false? If I don't like that question, I can get rid of it. Short answer, right? We can give different options for correct answers. We can add others that way. If it wasn't capitalized and you wanna make it count, if it was capitalized or not, uh, you could give all of those different options, but everything looks generally the same. When you are finished, we hit save and exit. And there is the test. Now, how I give this test or how you can give this test is a couple of ways. Um, first of all, I'm gonna go back to the launch screen. So this is where you would give your quizzes. Um, you could do them a, a couple ways. 
You can give them, you can use an exit ticket. So if you have a quick, you know, five question quiz or one question quiz, you can use it as an exit ticket. All right, I'm gonna hit finish on that. Go back to launch. I can make a space race. A space race is a game based and you generally have it, the kids um, working as in groups with this, but you can have it be individual as well. And what happens is on the screen is you can see uh, different different things happening. Um, you're these, it's, everybody starts on the left-hand side of the screen and as they get answers correct, their icon starts moving over to the right-hand side of the screen. And you can choose different icons for, uh, you know, to use for this game. You can shuffle questions, shuffle answers. Um, you can make this auto assigned or student choice. I can pick the number of teams that I want. And then when I'm ready to go, I hit, after I choose number of teams, I hit start. And there's what you see, what would happen if the blue team and the magenta team and lime team were playing, these are hopefully all progressing across because every time they get it correct, it progresses. So it, you want to be the winner, right? You want to get done correctly and you want to get done first. So, and that's pretty fun when you're in class uh, and the kids get kind of wild over it. You know, it's kind of, they get totally into it. I'm going to finish that. When you finish, it will give you a report. I don't have any students in here right now, so it's not going to give me the report. Um, for the students, but it will give you a report of, and break it down by question um, and correct or incorrect answers. I'm going to show you those in a minute. So let's go back to launch. That's your space race. Let's go to just launching a quiz. I use this test for pretests. And so I have the kids take this like it's the real test, but I let them take notes. So what I then do, I give them a, a certain amount of time. So I assign the test. I can give them instant feedback. So that will tell them whether they got it correct or incorrect. Um, for the practice test, that's what I do. So they can take their notes. Uh, there can be open navigation so they can take the test whenever they want. And then it could be teacher paced, which means I'm starting and stopping it and letting them get to questions how I want them to. So if I do instant feedback, I can require their names um, to be present. Their, their names will automatically come up. Well, actually, they have to put their names in. Um, but I can shuffle questions or order, shuffle question answers. Um, I can show the kids their final score. Any of these things you can toggle on or off. I hit start. Now, the way that you share this with the kids is you send them to this URL, b.socrative.com. It's a student login. I generally have it on my Google Classroom for them to click on and get there. And then they use your room name. My room name is Mr. Logue. And once they type in your room name, it'll say, get started on the activity. If they type in your room name and you haven't started an activity, it'll just say, there's no activity right now. So that's how the kids get there. When you're finished, right, you can watch this as it's going and you can see it'll list all the names and it will list the questions are getting correct and incorrect. You can see that live. You can see how long it's taken, uh, taking them to get things done. What I do when I'm, when we're done or when I call time on this activity, what I go through and it shows you up here, the percentage that got the question correct. So if the percentage of question nine, um, if it was only 30% of class got that correct, well, I'm going to go over question nine again. If 90% of the kids got question nine correct, I'm not going to go over that with the class um, to study. When you're done with the test, you hit finish. And yes, I want to end my current activity. And it will give you this data. And you can either, it'll give it to you actually in your Google Drive. It'll show up in there. Um, or you can print this out, or you can email the students, or you can export it as an Excel file. Um, but again, I just use this test for practice. So I just look at this screen and go over the questions with the kids. And that's it. That's just a quick overview of Socrative. You can do so much more with it if you'd like to do more with it. Um, but that's your quick overview for now.